Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is this week's YouTubers Weekly Stamping Collab. Our host this week is May with May Nail Design. May chose coffee. So, um, I'm a heavy coffee drinker. I This you will see down here a lot or in my to-go cup is always with me in my money cave. And uh, yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. I drink Starbucks um, pretty much... I mean, I buy it from the store and I bring it home and freeze my beans, but um, I grind um, espresso beans and my coffee is fresh. It tastes just like Starbucks. Yummy. Anyway, so May, thank you, May, for hosting. Um, this is the plate I'm going to use, and this is uh, came from a Mania Me Box a 030, and this one is all about coffee. But first, coffee. And then there's that, and like the swirls they make in your coffee. Oh, yum. And this is super cute, like, you know, the things they have on... Um, the side of the Starbucks cup, like right there. Anyway, that's cute. This one's whole beans in different cups. And this one is uh, maybe more of little tea time and uh, some more tea. But it, I drink tea too when I'm sick. <laughs> I've never had a French coffee press or coffee from a fresh press. Um, so yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Love this plate. This one's really cute, too. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, yeah, I love to... Just trying to get this one in the middle. Maniology, what? Come on. It says... Espresso yourself. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. I'm going to have to... Um, I'll be using that one. Anyway, I'm going to jump off here real fast. I'm going to pull the film. I will clean it with a uh, straight acetone. I do have like a, um, it's not straight acetone. There is an additive in here. Varenus X is where I get my additives. Uh, this is just one from her. And this one's lavender and coconut milk. I think this is my last one, so... I'll be ordering more. Anyway, so that's inside my acetone. A little bit easier on my um, skin and nails. So cotton and <clears throat> I always um, dry it off with a paper towel. So let me do that. I'll be right back. So on this hand, I have a dip system. Uh, I will link this video in down in the description. And um, on this hand, I have a Braves Diva Game Over. And I was trying to figure out which one it was before. I just put it on and um, I like mixed it and mushied it. Um, it's not This Is Our Year. I think it's Ed, Dick, and Andy, but I can't find that one. Oh, here it is. Um, I don't know. I think I mixed it with this one. Ed, Dick. Oops. Sorry. Um, Braves Diva Polish, a.k.a. New Name, Loving It. Faces Loaded Lacquer. I will leave a link to her store uh, down in the description. So that's what's behind this, not that it matters. But I think I wanna use, yep, yep, who guessed it? Frozen. So I really do wanna pick up um, one of these that has just um, all the coffee beans. And I really think I'm gonna try and keep it a little simple today. So there goes that. Again, that's Frozen from Aniology. And I think I want this one. I'm just going to pick it up. Um, so I'm going to... I sort of rolled that if anyone notices how it got bigger. <laughs> Jeez, chill. All right, so I'm going to use, oh, maybe a piece of tape because there's so much tape around the edge of my desk because it just curls up and goes there. So it stays there and it's messy. Can't get it off. 
I just scrape it off sometimes. Okay, so uh, the acrylic paint I have on my, this is on the other side. So, like, all this mess is on the other side. I just save these um, old plastic lids and use them two or three times. You can scrape it off and start over again. They're, um, you know, so you don't, like, use things that... Um, sorry, I was looking for my... Robin Moses uh, nail art, and this is the wand. I'm going to use these colors to fill in those decals. Um, I do need to, um, in my little squirt bottle, wherever it may be. Was it, okay, so here in this big one, which I really don't need all of that, I'm gonna take this off camera and spray it real fast just because I didn't want all that water in one spot. So, um, and normally I would just grab the back of my paintbrush and thank you Robin for thinking of that because um, most paintbrushes you can't do that and because it has like a, a coating on it, you can't get away with this. So Robin thought very far ahead. I'm trying to mix um, some brown. I got a little too much water on here, but that's all right. It'll it'll work its way in. So I'm gonna mix up the brown. I think the um, green. I'm gonna just lighten it up a hair because I I think it's pretty close to um, Starbucks green. I don't know, but here we're just gonna take some of this white. Um, so the colors I use, I have, uh, the white is Anita's. It was from Hobby Lobby, and I'm telling you, I've owned this bottle of white. It's one of the big ones, right? The size, um, eight ounces. Um, I've had it for, I don't know, ten years at least. You don't use that much. See, this is like a penny's worth of, of product. Um... So, kind of what I wanted to do in a little bit of a light brown. Um, I'm going to just do this cup. How cute is that little marbly look? So, yeah, I'm just going to fill in these images um, with my wand because it makes me magic. I'm kidding. It's a it's a beautiful, perfect brush. I love Robin Moses brushes, and I have been buying them for whew, a good long time, people. Because um, I've been watching Robin for years. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one. I just mixed a little bit of silver in with the white. I was just trying to get it. Um, Not white, but off color from, sorry, from the brown color. So there you go. Um, it's that simple to fill these in. I mean, it's not that hard if you, you can look through and see if you filled it all in. If it looks good to you, then yay, you go for it. So um, <laughs> this one says express yourself. And what I plan to do is stamp the cup on my nail and then put this over that one because I, I think it'll fit. So uh, the only way to get this one to show up, I think I'm just going to do it in green, like in, uh, I mixed a little bit of white in here and I just want to, oh, know, Starbucks is kind of a off white or a off Kelly green. So um, hopefully you can see it way down there. Express yourself. Expresso yourself. So, and then I'm going to do the same thing with all the beans. Um, probably going to do is work out of, um, I, I'm going to pull some white through and kind of just work out of this area right here on my palette. And, um, this one says... Uh, I'm sorry. What does it say? Oh, but first coffee. So, um, 
Same thing. I'm gonna pri- probably go between the brown, brown and white. Let's keep this all, you know, in a coffee looking. I can't tell you guys how much I love my coffee. Starbucks is my brand. I don't drive anymore, so I can't just go to Starbucks and get some. So uh, I started using um, whole coffee beans. That's Jack crying because Rush just got home from Home Depot or something. I don't know what he's doing. But um, there we go on that. See how quick it is? So yeah, I love my coffee. I love, I, I can't not have a cup of coffee in the morning. I, I can't do it. It would just ruin my whole day. Okay, so I don't know if I um, mentioned it, but I used a smudge tree top coat on the decals prior to um, painting them with acrylic paints. And yeah, I, I pretty much use acrylics um, on any of my reverse stamping, but Occasionally, I will use a nail polish because it's the color, the exact color I'm looking for. So, anyway. Okay, so I put a sticky base coat, uh, pinky, ring finger, and index. I'm going to do this one with uh, Moira Stamping Polish and the Maniology Mermaid Scales. Because, yeah, they belong in coffee. So, I'm going to put this one on my pinky, um, but first, coffee. It's cute. Um, yeah, I didn't, this one's tiny like my nail, but so um, I'm just going to work around this and, you know, um, smooth it out a little bit before I um, take acetone to it and seal it around the edges. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um which one? Oh yeah, I was gonna use that one. So this is the cup I wanted to do. Um, so here is the cup. Here, I'll put it in the middle. Wait, is that? See that, see that? So I'm gonna get this work down like that. And then I'm going to take this tiny little espresso yourself. If I can tell which is up or down. Right there. I'm going to put this right over this cup. Pray it works. Please work, please work, please work. Oh. Poo poo, it didn't. Look how cute that is. Stay there. Stay there. Look at that. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, okay. So we got that one done. Um, index is a da beans. And. Let's see. Just like this, I'm going to stamp it. So the edges right there, I could use either my orange wood stick, Wadena, or um, I might want to, um, you could just go around, pull back on this around the edges and just use your nail if you want to. It works as long as you don't put too much of the smudge free top coat on. There we go. Look how pretty it is. Thank you, me. Um, I will have 
uh, still shot of mine at the end of this video. I will also have pictures of all the girls who participated in uh, this week's Manny and a link to their channels uh, down below in the description along with everything I used today to create this gorgeous look. How cute is that? I love the coffee cup. All right, guys, got to run long enough. I talk too much. If you wouldn't mind, um, a like, subscribe if you haven't. I would super, super appreciate it. And um, hit the bell. Might as well. Anyway, um, thanks for spending your time with me today. And smile with your eyes. Smile with the grumpy. There's a lot of them around. Gotta go. Bye, guys.